Auburn women's basketball head coach Terry Williams Flannoy. Coach, first talk about the Temple games, first time for Auburn to beat Temple in a few years, and you did it in a pretty convincing manner. You know, I thought that was really good for our players. It felt good for them to finally beat Temple after hearing so much about Temple beating them. So that, that was really exciting for them, and I thought we played extremely well. The past few games, you've been able to get up in double figures and, and get big leads on teams, but then you'd surrender those leads and have to come back. Against Temple, you got up big and stayed up big. How good was that for the team to maintain that lead throughout? That was good. That was just one of the things that we had just talked about. You know, after the Tulane game, after the GW game, we was like, can we just get a lead and just keep the lead? Um, you know, I thought a few times, you know, in both of those games we became a little complacent. So for Tulane, I mean, we was playing catch up, you know. Um, but at GW, I thought we became a little complacent and, and wasn't as aggressive as we were at the beginning of the game. So that was just something that we wanted to try to maintain this time. Yeah, Hasina Muhammad, SEC Player of the Week. Uh, not only did she play well, but is the second weekly honor for an Auburn player. It's the first time in four years that multiple players have been named SEC Player of the Week. So let's talk about Hasina's week. Uh, Hasina had a great week. You know, um, it was definitely well deserved Player of the Week. Um, she played really well. Um, she scored. I mean, and she had an all around game. It wasn't just scoring. She rebounded. She got steals. You know, so she had a well, uh, you know, well rounded game. So it was well deserved. Now moving forward to UT Chattanooga, uh, they're eight and one on the season. The only team to beat Tennessee. What is it about them? You know, what are they doing this season that's working so well for them? You know, they're a very veteran team. I mean, they're they're top six, seven it's juniors and seniors. So they've been in the system for a while. They understand the system. They're great three point shooters. Um, you know, they just play extremely well together. I mean, well coached. You know, you can just see that. They, and they don't panic, you know, even with under any type of pressure, you know, that because they're such a veteran team and older players as part of situations that they've been in before. And they have a few players averaging double figures. Who are the who are the key players, you know, for Auburn fans to look out for in the game? You mean for UT Chattanooga? Oh man, the point guard's really good. You know, twenty one. You know, I always know numbers. I don't know any names. <laughs> um, the point guard's really good. She's just a steady point guard. She's just gonna run the team. Um, 22 is one of the great shooters. Three is another great shooter. I mean, they just, really, honestly, unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of, you know, players that, that we have to really be able to contain, you know, on Wednesday. Got a really good post player, 44, big body post player, takes up a lot of space inside. Um, you know, so we're really going to have to be on our toes defensively. And I, I don't think it's more of a, a full court defense that we're going to have to, you know, be as, more, as prepared for as we are in the half court. I, I think they'll be able to handle the press a little bit. Thank <laughs> you.